CIET and CERT presents the series of English stories. Learning to listen and listening to learn. Friends, let's listen to this program and enjoy. A fable is a story which has birds and animals as characters. Here is a fable which tells us the story of a cock sparrow and how he got the specks of black. Listen to the story. How the cock sparrow got specks of black. Long, long ago, a cock sparrow and a hen sparrow lived in their nest, which was in the roof of a hut. Hen sparrow worked hard kept the nest neat and brought food for herself and her husband. Cock Sparrow was lazy. He did no work but slept a lot. When he awoke, he gossiped with the other sparrows and with the flowers and the butterflies and laughed at the hard-working ants and bees. One day, some friends of Hen Sparrow called on her. Soon, they said, you'll be getting pretty babies. So we've brought gifts for you and the little ones. Hen Sparrow blushed and looked happy. She opened the gifts brought for her. There was a pretty dress in a box. She put it on and stood in front of the mirror. My dear, said the cock sparrow, you look lovely. Ah, she sighed. What's the matter? asked her husband. I only need one thing to make me beautiful, she said, and that's kajal for my eyes. I'll go and get it for you volunteered her husband. But tell me where I can find it. You could ask the darkness of the night to give you some kajal, suggested the hen sparrow. Okay, I'll do that, agreed her husband. I'll get up early in the morning and request night to give me some kajal. The next morning, it was very cold. Inside the nest, it was nice and warm. The hen sparrow called out to her husband many times, but he did not get up. He only put his head deep under his wing and slept. Then at last, the cock sparrow woke up. Darkness of the night was not there. He told his wife, I'll get up early tomorrow morning and get you some kajal. He could not get up early the next morning and could not get any kajal for his wife. This went on for days together. The hen sparrow was sad. Her husband too was unhappy. He knew he had failed to make her happy. He sat on a branch all by himself and thought. Hello, he called out to his wife. Can't I get kajal from the coil? The hen sparrow's face brightened at once, and she said with a smile, Of course you can. I never thought of it. Then I'll go and get some for you, said the cock sparrow. You'd better not go now, advised his wife. Coil comes to the plains during summer. She comes when the mangoes start ripening on the trees. Soon it was summer. And the cock sparrow said he would go to the coil. Yes, do that, said the hen sparrow. But come back soon, for in a day or two the little ones will come out of the eggs and I want them to see me with kajal in my eyes. 
I'll go like lightning, my dear, said the cock sparrow, and away he flew to a mango orchard. Coo, coo, sang the quail. The cock sparrow greeted the quail and requested her for some kajal. Oh, I'll give you some, but you have to keep it in a bottle, she said. Go and get one. No, I'm afraid I can't do that, he told Coel. I have to take back Kajal with me today for my wife. The cock sparrow looked miserable. Don't worry, said the Coel cheerfully. I'll find a way out. Take some Kajal on your chest and some on your wings. The cock sparrow readily agreed. The quail put some kajal on his chest and wings. The sparrow thanked the quail and flew away happily. The cock sparrow came in with kajal all over him. His wife was delighted. She put some on her eyes and looked beautiful. Cock Sparrow fell in love with her all over again and danced about on the roof of the hut. Meanwhile, the little ones arrived and with all the work in the house, the hen sparrow could never find time to wash her husband's coat. Many days later, on a warm summer morning, the hen sparrow sat looking at her husband. My dear, she said, you look very handsome with the kajal on your coat. I want you to wear this coat always. I'll do anything which makes you happy, promised her husband. And the cock sparrow still has kajal on his chest and his wings. Friends, you are just listening to this program. We hope you have a pleasure listening to it. Project Coordination, Professor R. Meghanathan. Recorded by Bati Lang Lingdo and Mayank Kumar. Special Contribution, Vimlesh Chaudhary. Production Assistance, Amit Kumar. Edited, Directed and Produced by Ajit Horo. This program was brought to you by CIET-NCERT, New Delhi, India.